What up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back, and today I will be doing my playoff predictions for this year's postseason. But before I get into it, hit that subscribe button down below to be entered into my giveaway at 500 subscribers. And here is the bracket that kicks off today. And you got some good series kicking off. You know, the Astros winning the AL West on the last day, and that moves the Rangers to the fifth seed, playing against Tampa, which should be a great series. And then you also have Toronto and Minnesota playing. And those two teams have fought very hard to get here. And they have the Diamondbacks squeaking in the NL. And same with the Marlins squeaking in to get into the playoffs. And those two teams are going to have a very tough series to get to the next round. But we'll start with the Blue Jays and Twins. And Blue Jays, Twins, I just feel like the Twins are due to finally get a victory in the postseason. And this is going to be the year. It's going to be tough for the Blue Jays fans to hear. But the Twins pitching staff is very good, and I think that's what's going to carry them at least through the first round. I think this will go three, and they will win game three behind Sonny Gray if he is the projected game three starter. But Joe Ryan's going to shove, and then I think Maeda, he will struggle, but then they'll throw Gray, and he'll have his great game. And then they'll face Houston in the next round. And then we'll move to the other AL series, and I have the Rangers moving on against Tampa and this year it's tough for Tampa to move on because they don't have as good a pitching as they've had in years past the lineup has, can hit really good though but not but since they've lost Wander this team you know hasn't really lost a beat but they've lost something and I think it's going to show here in the postseason where the Rangers you know really struggled to get in the playoffs and this team was barely making the playoffs because you know they just had a good record and a good run before the last week of the season but they'll figure it out to get the day off to yesterday and coming into today, going to Tampa, it's it's happening now. So they got to really step up. And if they can, you know, move on and get this far without Serger and DeGrom, then it's a success. We'll move to the NL and you have the Diamondbacks and Brewers. But first, who's the Dodgers going to play? They're going to play Miami. Miami is going to upset Philly in a shocking upset, which, you know, the NL East has produced three teams you can see them all there in the this year's playoff and I think Miami is finally going to get a victory here in the postseason the two times Miami has made the postseason they have won the World Series so they're going to start off on the right path here upsetting the Phillies I have the Diamondbacks and Brewers series here and I think the Diamondbacks are going to pull off an upset as well the Diamondbacks really clawed their way to get in in the postseason here they were hot out of the gates for about the first two months of the season and then slowly fell back down to earth but did enough just to get into the playoffs and the brewers it's the same old story every year they win the division but then when the playoffs happen they just fall apart and can't show up so i gotta go with the facts and what's happened in years past as they lose to a new team to the playoffs i'll move it over to the al in the ALDS, I have the Twins upsetting the Astros. And the Twins this year actually were 4-2 and two against the Astros. And I don't know. I just feel like the Astros don't have what it takes this year. I know they're fully healthy. They got Verlander back at the deadline. And they got all the pieces to go all in. But the Twins, I just think that they are due for a run here. You know, I said it in the last round. And I think it's going to happen yet again. And if they can upset the Astros, then they might as well possibly get to the World Series, too, because that run, it's tough to stop it when your team that's not expected to go far in the playoffs. They have all that momentum. And I think this one goes five. They go to Houston and win game five. But we'll move it to the ALDS second series, Rangers, Orioles, the Orioles, the young kids coming out for a big season this year. But it doesn't matter because I have the Rangers moving on. And they've battled a lot of adversity this year with injuries, slumps, whatnot. But they're here in the playoffs where it matters most. I think they have the more experience, and that plays a role in the playoffs. And the O's pitching is going to be the biggest question mark. And the Rangers can hit the crap out of the ball. So if they get to them early, then these Rangers, well, they might put them away early. I'll move it over to the NL, Miami, and the Dodgers. And Miami's luck runs out here. I'm going with the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers have a very good team on paper, very complete one through nine, great lineup. And Miami staff, you know, has had some injury problems this year. 
I don't think they're built for a five-game series. The three-game series is doable, but the five-game series, I don't see them winning. I think they'll take one at home, probably game three, to avoid elimination, but the Dodgers will win in four. Then in the last NLDS series, you have the Diamondbacks and the Braves. And the Braves, obviously, with their historic season, the most home runs in MLB history, tying that record. Uh, Acuna, obviously, the clear-cut MVP favorite with over 70 stolen bases and 40 home runs. Then you add guys in like Sean Murphy, Ozzy Albies, Matt Olson. The list goes on and on and on about how they can produce all these guys to perform well when it matters. And every year the Braves have one or two guys that no one saw coming that produces in the playoffs and really makes a name for themselves. And I think that's what's going to happen here. They take care of business, sweep the Diamondbacks in three, move to the NLCS. Then the ALCS, you have the Twins and Rangers. And this is where the Twins luck runs out. I have the Rangers moving on, the five seed going to the World Series. And I think they'll win this one in either five or six games. I don't think it's going to go seven, but I don't think it's going to be a sweep. So it's going to be one of those two. Uh, the Rangers experience, like I said in the last round, is going to get to the best of the Twins. Seager's already won a World Series with the Dodgers. And, you know, even having Serger and Grom still there to coach these pitchers to go this far into possibly the World Series, I think that's going to play a pivotal role. And... They're going to get there on their bats of Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. Those two guys have been great this year, and I think it continues. The NLCS, Dodgers-Braves, feels like it's the matchup that's supposed to happen, and I think it will happen. And the one seed's going to get the better of the Dodgers. And this is where you know Freddie Freeman wishes he was still a Brave because they're moving on to the World Series, and they look to get back to the World Series as well. And, you know, last year didn't get there. Phillies got there and now they're back. So a lot of pressure here for the Braves and Rangers, but we'll move to my World Series pick. And I am going with the Texas Rangers, the Rangers. I don't know. They just felt like I just feel like they're on a crash course to win this thing after what they've been through this year. It's going to be a good World Series nonetheless with the Braves excellent pitching staff and the Rangers lineup. Well, the biggest question for Texas is their pitching. Because I already mentioned it, DeGrom and Serge are out for the year. And if they can get guys like Montgomery to just shove, go six, seven innings in the postseason, not really tax the bullpen early in this series, then I think the Rangers can win it in six. But that's going to be it for my playoff predictions. Make sure you guys check out my other content on this channel. But until the next time, the Bench Buddies are out.